Oh my gosh, so uh, here we are at Parkville, coming back nine months later after our community gathered to rehearse the finale of our show that was scheduled for March 21st. So uh, Jillian's waiting for us, so I'm excited to catch up with her. Hello. How are you? How are you? Virtual hug. Oh my gosh, I knew I'd be a little overwhelmed coming here, but it does feel so good. I know, we miss you. I know. We miss everyone. So we're excited, as you know, that we've got Andy and Al from Atlas Gray yeah. doing a special tribute video for our community. I can't and wait to have them here. It's going to be amazing. I'm so, so excited. I don't know, I just want to sit down and catch yeah. up and share yeah, something. So, How have you been? I'm great. I, you know, I think this year has tested all of us. And oh my gosh. Believe, are we comfortable? Yes. Sitting, taking off and can talk? Yes. Um, you know, I think this year has challenged everybody. And um, I still think it's so ironic, you know, our theme of believe and asking our students and our teachers in our community to take a chance and to work with us in an inclusive, expressive arts space. Um, and not to be able to showcase all of the joy and work that yeah, went into it. Yeah. You know, particularly as we wrap up this year and have feelings of hope around what's to come, you know, it's neat to be back and to be thinking, let's honor, you know, our students. Um, this is a special gift for you that oh, is for all of our believers. Um, <laughs> that I never had to so give excited. to you. <laughs> uh. So thinking about the last time we were here it was February 29th, and we feels brought, like forever ago. It feels like a lifetime ago, <laughs> right? It's crazy. And we had, you know, our youngest students. I think of Tessa and Spencer, and then I think some of the older students like Jess and Brandon and Megan. And they came into the space, and you led them with. Julie yep. and Savannah yep. through this beautiful movement to the song This Is Me. Yes. Um, with ASL. <clears throat> and we never got to showcase that. So, although we did not get to see the finality of all of the work and effort, what we saw was people coming together who had never known each other, um, of all abilities, working together to collaborate, making new friendships, learning new things, whether it was movement or dance or sign language, um, and coming together with so much kindness and love and generosity of spirit and people showing their hearts and themselves and connecting in really powerful ways. So although the show did not happen and we didn't get to perform for a large audience and the kids didn't get to shine on stage like that, what I got to see and experience was everybody shining. And when we came here together to practice, to see that connection ripple out was really, really powerful. It feels like fleeting almost. Yeah. Like it feels like a crazy, like, because right after that, February 29th, it was it was right then and there, and you know we were preparing for this like big spectacle, which was like it had so much energy and like thought behind it, and so it was crazy to feel like it was like swept up from us. But um, you know that day that everyone came together, it was so special. It was it was really amazing to have everyone's energy here and you know how everyone responded to the movement in different ways and got to show their own character or, or really like stepped out of their own box I think like even just having that one rehearsal which was a rehearsal but I feel like that was a moment in itself it was a moment I so, agree so I am grateful for that so, <laughs> watch this I know oh my gosh Jarma stepped into teacher yeah. role like a natural, right? <laughs> I love that. Uh, you know, that's what gets me is that there's a place for us. You know, this song was chosen intentionally right. because it was to lift up the notion that we are all capable and valued and worthy and 
that's the very heart of kinetic and inclusive art. Right, right. To see individuals that are not necessarily don't consider themselves dancers. dancers just, I know, like, but they're doing putting it. Putting it out there. Really um, putting it out there. You know, it takes a lot of bravery. About two years ago, Jane contacted us to uh, feature our original music in an inclusive arts program uh, for students of all abilities. Uh, we were super excited, curious, um, and uh, totally behind the idea. Um, and then it, it was a total honor to know that they wanted to use our song Believe for the title of the program and the theme song for it. Um, and uh, that was a total blast to put together and work towards the show and you know come up with uh, everything that it was going to entail uh, but then as we know COVID hit right before the show was supposed to happen week of the show, week of the show. Uh, yeah so now we're here months later however many months it is and uh, we're excited to share a different version of Believe with you yeah and I think it's um it's important to keep the belief alive, you know, this, this year especially. Um, you know, it's been trying for, for everyone, and I think the song speaks volumes, you know, however you interpret it. Um, it could, we've really had to dig deep and find new ways on how to get through this time, how to really believe in ourselves and believe in, in the world. and. Um, I think that's the overall message of the song, is just to, to always believe in yourself no matter what. Um, anything is possible, and we will get through this. And uh, we hope you enjoy this version of the song. Mm -hmm. 